Hi everyone, so today's review is going to be on the Mudslide Nourishing Hair Mask. Um, it is the Dry Bar Mudslide Nourishing Hair Mask and it retails at Sephora for $35. It is six fluid ounces. So it is supposedly for straight, wavy, curly hair, fine, medium, thick hair. Um, it is a rich cream type of mask and it's supposed to deeply moisturize, nourish, and help strengthen dry, damaged hair. And how you're supposed to use it is after shampooing, apply a generous dollop. I use about a quarter size to wet hair from roots to ends, leave in about five to 10 minutes. So this is says it's paraben, sulfate, and phthalate free, it's safe for color treated hair. Um, and it's free of sulfates, SLS, and SLES. And it's also cruelty free. So it is a flip top type packaging. Uh, so you can see that here, literally, dispenses this way. Um, I will say this about this product is it has a very strong, strong smell. So if you don't like strong smells, you will not like this. It smells chemically to me, but also almost like a men's fragrance, like a men's cologne. So I did not like that. When I used it in the shower, it did not have a lot of slip. Um, so it didn't feel particularly moisturizing or conditioner, conditioning when I put it in my hair in the shower. When I put it on, I put a cap over it, leave it on for five to 10 minutes while I'm in the shower. And as I said, um, it did not feel particularly moisturizing while I was in the shower. Even when I got out of the shower and I dried my hair, it didn't feel particularly nourishing or moisturizing either. It may work better for hair that is not like mine. My hair tends to be thick. Um, it is colored. Um, it is chemically uh, treated and it tends to be very dry, coarse, curly and prone to frizz. So this mask may work better for hair that is um, not as thick and not as frizzy and curly, but it did not work well for me as far as combating frizz. It's supposed to have argan oil in it to help with the softness and the frizziness. I didn't really notice it work that well. Um, what I did notice again was the strong smell. So I'm going to show you the texture. It's a very thick cream. That's what it looks like in the bottle but again it's very very strong smell and it doesn't just go away after you blow dry it so it doesn't dissipate easily um, I did not like that and again I didn't find it particularly moisturizing one of the things to note about this product is on the back one of the ingredients in here is alcohol denat which is denatured alcohol um, and that is one of the drying alcohols um, which is probably why it didn't give me a lot of slip in the shower. So there is denatured alcohol in this product. Another reason why I would give it a thumbs down. Um, again, it may work for hair that is not as thick as mine, but if you don't like strong smells, you probably won't like this. So I'm gonna give it a thumbs down, um, especially for $35. If I'm gonna get a mask, I want it to work and I want it to smell good. And this didn't do either of those things for me. Um, there's another review that I'm gonna post down below. I know some people have had great reviews on this, but the reviewer agrees with me. And I've also heard that this um, formula has changed and not for the better. So maybe you liked it before and you don't like it now. Um, but for $35, I can find better drugstore masks in the drugstore that condition better and smell nicer for me. So um, yes, I would not recommend this. Thumbs down. Hope you like my review. Um, remember to like, share, subscribe, click on the box below to subscribe so you can see more of my videos. I'm going to continue to search for products that are great for frizzy hair. I'm also going to link down below the products as I review them so you can watch other videos and see if those work better. Um, but the month slide did not work for me. Thanks for watching. Till next time.